beautiful morning from the coast. Um, it is technically still August, but it is a cold, chilly, four cup of tea kind of day here on the coast in August. Um, my fourth cup of tea I generally go for a, it's a very special tea that I only use as a fourth cup. It is a coconut chocolate tea. It was a gift from, to me from a very good friend uh, years ago now, but I love it so much that I, I dole it out in very small quantities, um, but it tastes a lot like hot cocoa. And on these days, it's the best treat. Okay, so, last time we did this, I spilled that whole cup of tea, so. I cannot believe that summer is coming to an end and I guess summer itself, like the kids are starting to go back to school, but I wanted to kind of recap my summer. Uh, I wrote about it last newsletter, um, but I have spent so many brilliantly beautiful hours sitting outside on the beach or underneath the tree in a pile of pine pitch, painting pictures, doing adventure painting or plein air painting. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to share some of those with you because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> and uh, in the beginning, well, I'm still at a point where when I paint on site, it's not the best painting and that's okay. I just love doing it though. Just not realizing that all of that is laundry. Pardon my laundry. Um, <laughs> you gotta, when you do video, you should pay attention to your background. Um, I know you don't care. You don't care because I don't care. Um, so anyway, so this uh, is a painting I did yesterday and I will uh, add photos to, to the end of this video so you can see them all better. But uh, my friend and fellow artist Carol we went to Wales Cove. Uh, that was gorgeous. Um, let's see, here is one that I started um, on the Devil's Punch Bowl and in and so I started this one at a different time inside the Devil's Punch Bowl so this is I guess this is technically inside as well I was on the outside looking in this was like on the inside and I really like this one I do enjoy this one but then when I came home I redid it Ooh, I love this one if everything goes to plan, this one is available on my site to buy as a print. Um, let's see, the other day it was so kind of, it was one of those hot, weird, steamy days, like the marine layer was in, uh, and if you've not experienced the Oregon Coast marine layer, it is just this thick, like, pancake of purple-gray cloud, and it just kind of rolls on in, and no matter what the temperature is, the temperature goes down by 15 to 20 degrees and it just like warm and hangs. Um, but if it's a gorgeous sunny day on top of the marine layer, it gets all steamy. So this was over near Seal Rock. Uh, we hiked, uh, we parked and then walked. You have to walk a ways to get to this area. We walked in and the sand was steaming because it was so hot. And then there was the marine layer. It was such a cool day. Um, so it's just a quick little painted sketch I did from there. And then uh, these, let's see, this I wrote about in that last blog post. Uh, this is a painting I started on site at the Hobbit Trail. Um, gorgeous little place. I have every intention of continuing to work on this painting because I love that cloud. And, oh, the water. I'm getting the water. Um, and then these are two I did. Uh, again, I wrote about these the other day. Um, but again, I did these on site and then came home and worked on them a little bit more. And I'm really enjoying how these two came out. So I think this will hopefully also be a print on the site. Um, and then this is one I just started. So this is the walk to the beach. There's a boardwalk. And there's, when Roxy and I go to the beach, there's a certain, uh, when the sun shines through the trees and like the tree, it's all kind of, there's so many trees and it's so shrouded in shadow because the treetops, but then the like, sun bursts through onto the path. And then there's some bushes that are just like green because there's so much sunlight and they're so bright green anyway. 
Um, so this is just kind of the base sketch of that, of like, all oh, this is in shadow and it's so dark and lush and green. And there's a little boardwalk, but then there's just like this sun pouring in. So I'm really excited to work on this one. Um, let's see, I've also started, I know, I know, with the challenges, I need to s slow down. Clearly we're not getting to 100 mugs, like, I've done 100 days of drawing, so that's fine. Um, I think I will try to get to 70 mugs just to make a nice even round number. Um, but on September 1st, there is a 20 by 20 challenge starting um, through, through the uh, Learn to Paint podcast. And I really enjoy the Learn to Paint podcast. Uh, actually, I don't listen to her podcast as much because I read her newsletter and her newsletter generally gets most of the podcast across and I really learned a lot from that really enjoy that but she's doing uh her challenge is 20 minutes for 20 days in a row um it starts september 1st but i'm gonna be gone that weekend so i'm starting a few days early just to like anyway um so what i've got set up here is i've got a grid on both sides of this pad of paper so i will have 18 small paintings and my goal for this challenge is to just really nail the waves in the water like i I'm, I'm starting to get it here a little bit. I'm getting there. And I definitely, that one was a good water waves one. And this one. But I want like, this is like distant waves. And I, I feel like I've got a decent handle on that. But I want like that up close, like really detailed wave is kind of what I'm working on there. So at least that's the point of the, my goal for the challenge, I guess. So anyway, um... That is all the watercolor that's been going on. As far as wax paintings, I didn't bring any upstairs to show you, but um, I have been leaning a little more towards abstract with my wax. Um, and that's gonna, that's an entirely different conversation. Um, I tried a few, I was playing around and I put it in the gallery just to see and it sold in two days and I was like, and then other gallery members were like, oh, I love this abstract. You need to work on this. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> so that's me diving into abstract wax. Uh, I will let you know how that's going. Um, I'll also throw, also throw up some pictures on the end of this video for some abstract wax as well. Okay. Uh, happy Tuesday. I hope you are all much warmer than I am. And if you live anywhere other than the Oregon coast, I think you're probably sweltering. Um, but we are, we had thunderstorms last night. Uh, and so yeah, we are, we are getting ready for the rains. The fall rains are coming and then it'll be the winter rains and then the spring rains. Ah, yay rain. Okay. All my love, bye-bye.